Hey guys, alright, we're starting up with a game I don't really know much about. I heard of it, but I've never actually seen it yet. But it's called Bon Bon. Um, isn't that like a pastry or something like that? Bon Bon? Bon Bons? I don't know. Oh, uh, what do we got? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Resolution scale, I don't know. Probably shouldn't mess with that. Um, looks good to me. Let's start this up. Oh, I guess I'm in bed. Hello. I remember seeing pictures. My mom had one of those when she was little. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, oh, am I doing something? Oh, oh, I thought it was a cutscene. I can almost break my neck, apparently. Give a big push. Rotate. R. No. How do I rotate Wobbly Dog? I'm using... Is that... Normal? I don't know if is my audio broken in this game or is is that how I sound? What is this? Shovel. It's nice to come inside, love. Don't leave your new balls outside, you'll lose them. <laughs> Alright. Where are my balls? Here's one. I found a ball. Where do I put my balls? Hmm. Why is my vision all weird? I don't know if that's right. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Find three more balls and put them inside the house for a mummy. Alright, there's no jump. No crouch. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm a destructive little child, aren't I? Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, one more. Wait, no. Two more, actually. Oh, what the hell? Which, what, what, what? What happened? Did you just hit me? Oh, my ball rolled all the way down. Come here. Come here. This is so weird. Where's my third ball? Hello. Oh, well, uh, let me see. Is there a sound 
TV volume, music volume. Subtitles are on. All right, I don't know. I don't know if the it's supposed to sound like this or not. Oh. What a big friggin' rat. But it has my ball. Trade you this. Thank you. Don't like turning me back to that thing. Mom, there's a giant rat out here. Oh, that's kind of cool. I actually have collision. It stopped when it hit me. Okay. Let me in the house. Let me in the house. Bring them inside, please. I did. They're all in. Let me in. I need a rat. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's so mean. <laughs> oh, I can actually. Oh, I thought I was stuck here. I could. I push forward. Okay. Flutter hog. All right, what am I doing now? It's nearly ready, love. What? Just playing with your toys, then put them away. Oh, in the box? All right. Okay, yeah, I just tried to shake the etch sketch Okay. Oh, the edge just wasn't a toy. Okay. Find two more rubber rings. Okay. All right. One more. Hmm. Oh, what's this? For sale, ruby eyed, dumbo eared, champagne, Siamese, Siamese fancy rat, eight months old, good health, all oh, critters. <laughs> Makers of Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Interesting. It's so dark back here. Where, if I were a ring, where would I be? Hmm. Oh, that's an ashtray. Oh, here we go. Found it. What is that? Georgie? Hello, Georgie. Oh, yeah, I don't like him winking at me. Alright. Oh, now blocks. Alright. Oh, Georgie? Is Georgie a Roomba? Where's all my balls? Hello, tiny lady. 
I'll just do the voices for him right now. Uh, Pee Wee. Hey, Pee Wee. Oh, I can let you go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hello, Big Mouth. Little Big Mouth. Alright, uh, I'm still missing two. Oh, there's one. How did I not see that? Wait, wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, the block is right next to that thing. Find three tiny people. Oh, what do you have? Kind of, oh, uh. oh, you sick. You sick bastard. Oh. Okay. Find four. Were you just outside? Um, little people. Where is another little person? We got here. That's Georgie. Do I have a flat? Oh, why would a little kid have a flashlight? Mom, the giant rat. Where do we keep the traps? Oh, there it is. Okay, one, one more. Where? Do you have it? Very ready, love. Can I have it? Oh. oh. Come on, time to tidy up. Hold on, the giant rat is making this difficult. Open your eyes. Happy birthday, love. Oh. Blow them out. How old am I? One, two, three. <sighs> oh, you missed one. Try again. There you go. Okay. Now, a big birthday slice for you and... Oh. Suppose that'll be your father. In a minute. Okay. No wild that we used to blow on cakes for all this COVID stuff. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in speaking. Oh. <laughs> 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 you got a little bit of... Uh... Thing I've ever played. 
And I'm not just saying that. This is literally the weirdest thing I've played so far. Um, I can, this is like the last one I can reach, man. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't. I cannot reach it. You want, you want my phone? I'll give you my phone. Uh, I can't. I cannot reach the plate, man. Oh, I can reach that all the way across the table. Seriously. Can okay, I have the knife? I don't. I don't know what you want. I don't. Oh, Jesus. You would not believe me if I told you. Mumbling. Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was an old miller who had two children who were twins. The boy twin was named Hans, and he was very greedy. The girl twin was named Hilda, and she was very lazy. Hans and Hilda had no mother, because she died whilst giving birth to their third sibling named Engel, who had been sent to Reads this to their kid! Hans and Hilda were never allowed out of the mill, even when the miller went away to the market. One day, Hans was especially greedy, and Hilda was especially lazy, and the old miller wept with anger as he locked them in the cellar to teach them to be good. Let us try to escape and live with the gypsies, said Hans, and Hilda agreed. While they were looking for a way out, a big brown rat came out from behind the log pile. I will help you to escape and show you the way to the gypsies' camp, said the big brown rat, if you bring me all of your father's grain. So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out, and the next day, when the miller went to market and left the children locked up inside the mill, they carried all the grain down to the cellar. The big brown rat gobbled up the grain until there was none left, and then went to sleep behind the log pile. When the miller came home and found out, he declared that he was ruined and that they would all starve to death, and he locked the children in the cellar and wept with fear as he turned the key. The big brown rat was waiting. I will only help the boy child to escape and show him the way to the gypsy's camp, said the big brown rat, because the girl child will stay behind and be my wife. Come back once you've organized the wedding. Once I've escaped, I'll find our brother Engel and lead him back to rescue you, whispered Hans to Hilda. So Hans and Hilda waited until their father let them out. The next day, when the miller was out bartering for new grain, they made a trail of breadcrumbs all round the mill and into the cellar to show the wedding guests where to go. They took the most important pages out of the hymnal so that the priest would have the right words to say. Then they stole the miller's best Sunday jacket and took in the shoulders so that it fit Hans and they stole their mother's wedding dress and took up the hem so that it would fit Hilda. It's a very long then story. She put it on, and she looked lovely. But when the miller returned from market and saw them dressed up in wedding clothes, he wept with shame as he beat them and threw them both into the cellar once more. The wedding guests were already assembled. There were mice and voles and stoats in the congregation. Stoats? The choir was made up of crows who were already singing. The registrar was a big fat spider with spectacles on, and the priest was a long grey weasel who was busy rehearsing the right words from the hymnal. Hans walked Hilda down the aisle, and the big brown rat was waiting. The weasel said, Do you accept this offered paw in binding an inescapable holy matrimony, Hilda girl child? Hilda looked at Hans, who nodded as if to remind her that he would rescue her. I do, said Hilda. What? The weasel said, do you take this innocent young hand for your very own angle monstrous rat baby? Monstrous. I do, said the big brown rat, before anyone could interrupt. Then I now pronounce you man and wife, squeaked the weasel as quick as he could, and in a flash all of the wedding party scattered and Hans and Hilda were left alone with the big brown rat. I don't understand, said Hans. 
A big brown rat pushed Hans through a secret tunnel that led down to the riverbank, and Hans escaped and ran off and became a beggar boy. Of course, he never found his brother Engel, and never rescued Hilda. What the, the old miller finally hung himself, but nobody minded, and Hilda died whilst giving birth to a beautiful litter of thirteen baby rats, who grew fat in the miller's grain and lived happily ever after. Who reads this to a child? That can't possibly be a real story, is it? Oh, it's one of those... Oh, I was like, what in the world? It's one of those nightlights that just make stars on the ceiling. Okay. Huh. Okay, at least we have a flashlight. Kind of a... Very interesting way to do a flashlight. Wait. What in the world? It's like low gravity or something. this oh who took my dog's feet oh they took his feet how would you do such a thing give me this but give me I can't take it okay is this my nightmare or is this actually him? Oh, what? The little people are coming for me. Am I Gulliver? Oddly fun. <laughs> okay, this can't possibly be what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's a door here. Hey, my wobbly dog has his wheels again. There we go. What is going on? Well, yeah, that story probably would mess up. Okay, look at the dreams I'm having. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my worm at? What in the... Oh! Open, open, open. No, 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 no. Where's that other door at? Oh, I can't move very good. I hope I'm not a little girl. This is like that story going on. I don't want to have any baby rats. But I think I have to go back? Oh, wait. Oh, what happened? Do I get out of bed? Yes. No? Maybe. No, I can just kind of shift in the bed. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm trying. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Am I hiding here? Go under. I can't. can't look around. Oh, 
hot. Oh. I see a tail. Oh, it's on the bed. Oh. What am I doing? I... You wake there, kiddo. It's okay, love. Mommy's here. What's he doing in here? Take it downstairs. Yeah, okay. Night, kiddo. Happy birthday. Good night, love. Oh my god. I don't know why but that was so freaking frightening. Oh man. And so it's just a little rat. Okay. I guess maybe maybe child would make things bigger than they appear, I guess. I don't know. They're... But oh my god, this is the weirdest game in a long time I've played. And that one part scared the shit out of me. <laughs> um Mun Bun. Is there anything else gonna happen, or is this it? Oh, no, I'll, let it, I'll let it go for a little while longer to see what happens here. Uh, thanks for the free sound. Okay. I gotta say, I've never owned a rat in my life, though. I had hamsters. I owned a mouse once. So it was they're pretty kind of fun. But I never owned a rat. I don't know why. They kind of freak me out a little bit. Not not a fear or anything like that. I can hold one if I needed to or whatever. But I don't think I'd want one. But anyway, there we go. There's Bon Bon. <laughs> um, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. Um, if you uh, subscribe, you want to see some more. I do other games like this. Um, more signed into the horror side, but I do other random other games too as they come along. Um, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I'll um, gladly look into them. But uh, thank you, and see you later.